DOT ANNOUNCING ITS PLAN TO MOVE FORWARD TO ADD A GONDOLA TO LITTLE COTTONWOOD CANYON, CLAIMING THAT IT WILL IMPROVE TRANSPORTATION. ABC 4'S ANNIKA JOHNS JOINS US FROM THE MOUTH OF LITTLE COTTONWOOD CANYON AFTER SPEAKING WITH THE PROJECT MANAGER AND SALT LAKE COUNTY LEADERS ABOUT HOW THIS PLAN WILL BE MOVING FORWARD. ANNIKA? So UDOT says that their plan will address both the short-term and long-term transportation issues they're seeing in the canyon. Their plan is broken up into three phases. Phase one includes an increase in improved bus system with resort bus stops, a mobility hub, and tolling. Phase two would widen Wasatch Boulevard, construct snow sheds, and improve trailhead parking. Phase three would implement an eight mile long gondola and the construction of a base station near the mouth of the canyon. UDOT says they came to this decision thanks to all the public comment and reviews they've received and they believe this plan is the best step forward. However, those opposed to the to the addition of the gondola say that the vast majority of people don't want it. If I were a state legislator and I saw the vast number of comments opposed, I would give pause before I were to vote for further appropriations that would advance a gondola. I mean, ultimately, this phasing plan is a result of the comments that we received. Also, we had new alternatives. We evaluated alternatives um, more thoroughly because of all those comments. So I think all of the time that people spent really led to us having the best information and in making this decision. Vandura says that their planning for the bus system starts today and that they hope to have it in service by fall of 2025. Mayor Wilson continued her statement saying that their fight isn't over and that they have a couple years to prove that the bus system works and that a gondola, gondola sorry, is not needed in the canyon. Reporting live from the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.